Installation. Installation of the EK Connect is a rather easy task. Double-clicking the EK Connect setup opens a new window showing the end user license agreement. By accepting and clicking next, you're offered to choose the partition and folder where you wish to install your EK Connect software. After that, two more options emerge where you choose if you wish a desktop icon to be created as well as the start menu shortcuts. Installation basically requires accepting EULA and clicking next a couple of times. The program installs and offers you to launch it right away. Registration Under the Home tab in the bottom right corner, you can register your EK Connect by inputting your desired username and email along with an avatar of your own for personalization. This tab also provides a quick overview of your custom liquid cooling system. Renaming in the dashboard, you can give custom names or descriptions to headers to avoid forgetting what you connected to which header. In this example, we want to rename the pump to D5. Jumping into the cooling tab found under the configuration allows us to select the type of component. For example, a fan or a pump and place it under a specific fan header. Going back to the dashboard, we can see that header 6 changed the type to pump and the description to D5. RGB under the configuration, there is an RGB section through which you can control your digital RGB lightning. Any of the 16.7 million colors in the RGB spectrum are supported, with each color showing its specific color code. You have the option of quickly selecting dozens of your previously used colors. Aside from static color, you can choose a specific effect including breathing, fading, pulse, spectrum wave, alternating colors, and more. These also offer speed control for further customization. Smart function acts as a sort of a visual thermometer, where the system glows green when temperatures are low and red when they're high. On top of that, there's an audio effect that will make your RGB LEDs dance to the music. PWM test. The cooling tab offers PWM test that runs the pump or fans through the entire PWM operating range from zero to 100% to determine operating speeds measured in RPMs or revolutions per minute. Still not as many as France. <laughs> Hashtag that joke. PWM response in RPM is shown on the upper right graph. Note that certain products require specific PWM to start and the PWM curve may not be linear. Level. The level on the graph tab shows the coolant level in the reservoir if the sensor is installed. It can either be optimal when the coolant level is sufficient for prolonged use and there is no worry that evaporation might cause a lack of coolant or warning, which means it is recommended to top up your coolant levels in the near future. Full Speed Bleeding In the Support slash Settings tab of the EK Connect software, you can find special programs that are used to bleed the air out of the newly assembled or refilled loop. Full Speed Bleeding program runs one two-minute cycle of 100% PWM signal which makes the pump run at a maximum speed. The reason why is that a higher flow rate is more effective at dislodging air bubbles from the components of the loop. Bleeding the Air The bleed air function is for the most stubborn air bubbles. This program lasts for 190 seconds and repeats four times. The Bleed Air program consists of four cycles that alternate between 25% PWM and 100% PWM signals, which are the lowest and the highest operating ranges for the most custom liquid cooling pumps. This makes the coolant change circulating speed often, which is the most effective way to get rid of air bubbles, especially out of radiators. Radiators, due to the nature of their design, have many places for the air bubbles to get stuck, so we recommend you to run this program at least once. Cooling Pump Just like with the fans, controlling the pump is balanced on the same principle. Three predefined profiles are available, Performance, Silent, and Balanced, along with a fourth custom profile that you can manually set up according to your needs. Cooling Fan The cooling tab under configuration is dedicated to setting up your fans, pumps, and sensors. Separate control of the, each of the six sensors is allowed. You can either choose predefined profiles that include a performance, balanced, or silent profiles, or make your own PWM curve based on the temperature of a component or sensor of your choice. After selecting a profile, please click Apply for settings to come in effect. 
if you've edited a profile, the Save button will save the settings for that profile. Before you set your profile, please run a PWM test for the most accurate readout of the fan operating range and RPM. 